connected. Channel switched. Hello. Hello. Hi, Josh. Hey, Josh. Hi, all. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Oh, there's gonna be strong white thermals. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorely tempted to take the swift for this task. No, I'm not going to. I'll let someone else do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'd be any fun flying the Swift. Eh, it's actually kind of fun. It's, it's, it's actually not that bad. It, every time I do that, when you first get in it, it's like, it's so twitchy and everything, but after you've flown for a little bit, it gets, you get used to it, and it's fine. And there's no... Not having any gauges of, of particular importance in the cockpit. You don't need to even look at the cockpit anymore. <laughs> You do have a vertical speed gauge, but it's actually I don't even remember if it's, if it's a compensated one or not. But I don't know. So what name are I now? What do you say? What should we take? Which plane? Oh, I'm a JS3. Standard. I think I'll try the LS4. Yeah, that was also my opinion. Looks like Rich did it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rich is only out here for a Sunday cruise. If you can get high at Monte Rosa and uh, uh, Liscam, then you should be able to glide to the first turn point in an LS4 with a good speed and then uh, maintain on the ridges. Okay, I'll try it. Fly with my friends. Yes, baby. And also cloud flying is allowed, so it should be possible yep. to get in, into some waves. Definitely. You have the best feeling for waves, Tim. Well, not always, but...
you have a little more time with the LS4 to find the waves because of yeah. the low handicap. You don't need to rush ahead. Yeah. User joined your channel. Good evening. Hi, Morten. Good evening. Hi, Morten. Good evening. Hi, Morten. Oh, it's an early morning task. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every Sunday. Yeah. Always Sunday. Yeah, I thought you were being a little bit optimistic about the clouds when you said that. Yeah. <laughs> User entered your channel. I, I can't make this work, apparently, today. Maybe not. Very good, but Tamil. Very we'll good, Tamil. Doing it. Then no ports, then my glider doesn't work, then... I mean, this... What? Time for a reboot, Viking? <laughs> no, uh, it, that that is not allowed in this house. When you turn on a computer, you 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 have it turned on until it dies. Nice. Full commitment. Full commitment. <laughs> <laughs> There's an EB out there. Two EBs. <laughs> I changed to the little ALS4 here. Uh, this should be interesting. You are not alone? No. Why does it decision to ALS4? Faster top speed or? Better index? Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a Sunday cruise. Who's in a rush? <laughs> it's, it's oh, all here today. we go. <laughs> In that case, take the SG-38. I'm going to take the Libella. Yes. I, I was really laid back yesterday and wanted to fly Mata Mata just for a, lease of, a leisure flight. And I found a 240k something uh, like a beach run. I thought, Oh man, that's a piece of cake. Let's just have some fun, you know. Would you believe it? I landed out. <laughs> what? I haven't done that in a long time. I think sometimes with those, uh, they are, I actually found that 
probably know which one you're talking about or where you're talking about. And, and part of the problem is the resolution of the terrain isn't quite good enough to do the those short, steep cliffs like on shores, some places they have, and the ridge lift doesn't work on them as well as it does in real life, so you can't really go flying along them quite as well. No, there, there was nothing. All of a sudden, there was no lift. There was no lift. <laughs> I, I really struggled, you know, with ground effects, but there was nothing to do. I had to put it down. User disconnected <laughs> from your channel. Word but it was. Ship. Excuse me. Go ahead. No, I had fun while it lasted. <laughs> that looks like strong crosswind. Yeah, Morton was all over the place. Yeah, I saw. I think it was a little bit of uh, pilot introduced authorization. <laughs> Morton, we were giving you an excuse, you know. Thank you. It was 100% my own mistake. Oh, hi Conrad, thank you. So all the best from uh, Conrad, he's in uh, Bergen Airport, waiting for his flight home. He hopes to join us soon. Thank you, Conrad. Thanks, Conrad. Thanks, Conrad. Thanks. Conrad. Conrad. Thanks. Denny, we're going to find all the new uh, long paths to the finish today? Sure. Sunday scenic cruise. There we go. That looks nice. Nice start. With fog, smoke. Yeah, can we go, man? Has anybody found a wave already? Yeah, I think not high enough, so guys.
Oh, I can't believe. Uh -oh. I forgot. Stop joining in three minutes. Yeah. I thought that climb just felt oddly easy and everything. No balance. Mm hmm. Didn't know Swift took ballast. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. I'm not fucking Swift. <laughs> I was thinking of JS121. Yeah, I looked over at uh, Kotasa and the water bar, bar was empty. And I'm like, what? I've got the optimal starting location though. Just behind F1. Uh, Golden Eagle missed it, but not by much. That's too bad. I feel blessed in my position. F1 in front of me and DGT behind me. This will definitely be a good fight. I don't know why DGT has been doing the same thing that F1 does, where he tries to come in at the last instant. <laughs> DGT's always been a late starter. Maybe it's just a bad time for him to fly a task or something. Yeah, that, that I'm just envisioning him like racing home from work, trying to get home before the uh, race starts. <laughs> One thing about these guys being last is when there is a leaderboard being shown, they know how fast they got to be to go to win because they're you know the last finishers.
it feels a lot different than Full of War. Race start in 20 seconds, okay. Okay, everybody. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Found a wave not so far outside from the hill at two seven. Thanks. I think it's mostly <coughs> wrist lift until you get above the three K. Now I'm Again in the wave. Two rising. Maybe it's I think I took the tactic from you yesterday, a little bit wait and then uh, not yesterday, the day before, yesterday wasn't online. Any, anybody remember what the inversion level was? About 3-2. Uh, I think, okay, and I think 3,044 meters. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then the high level uh, wind should start to pick up from, from there. Yeah. Why didn't you have a look on your Como map? Yes. I have everything, your <laughs> flight path, what you're wearing, what underwear you have. <laughs> All what you ask, I have an answer, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I didn't figure out that there was one thing yesterday. I, I didn't realize I had my water level, uh, water ballast. Mm -hmm. So that was a new one for me. But I think I'm pretty much uh, set up here with Como Map. I've been practicing with it, so it, it's really yeah. cool. It's a cool, cool device. But how can I change the McCready and Como Map? I don't uh, find. No, but but it follows your McCready settings in the cockpit. Just watch it as you said it on your uh, yep. E-Vario. If you watch your E-Vario, the, the, the lowest digits there, when you click those up, you can see on Como Map that they follow along. Yeah, on the right side of Como Map, I have an... Uh Mine called Mike Chapman. There's plus 0 0.0 meter per second. Yes. But I have 2.5 uh, views in my pocket. Then there is something wrong with the, uh, the UDP data, I believe. 
Okay. So when you switch in your cockpit to MacReady 3.0, there is uh, showing me on the map then too. Yeah, the, there is a discrepancy somewhere. Yeah. I can't tell you exactly where that is. Yeah, mine works. If I change the MacReady on the E-Vario, it changes in uh, uh, camera map. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it might not work on me. But the rest works fine also, but my phone thing now. Yeah, perfect. That Como map also now online since today. Cool. So we wait for the first leaders. I'm at uh, <coughs> 1,900, 2,000 feet now, yeah. and I think I can feel the uh, uh, the wave here. Yeah. At two six two seven, you have definitely waves. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think two guys will start. Good luck, Danny. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck,
clutter on start. And I don't mean the clutter, I mean the, the house. It's so hey, windy. We're good. So what's the V and E of a house? <laughs> Depends on if your shutters are open or shut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had my house fluttering uh, during uh, our last uh, storm or hurricane in Denmark. It, it was humming. Wow. That's a bit unsettling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got like, like it's, right, it's around like 40 sustained, 40 miles an hour sustained with gusts to 60 or 65. Out west is even higher, like 55 miles an hour, 75 gusts. Let's not, let's not try to start too close to the start line. I try to, I'd very much rather avoid doing the loop of shame. Loop of shame. Could try to outdo yourself from yesterday. Hi, Jim. Hi, Gert. Good luck to all. Yeah, thanks. Almost a less of flutter? Yeah, it's flutter, yeah. Yeah, the message has shown up uh, crashes or flutter or something. But it, it says he cracked. It has a scene. It ah, okay. cracked one way or the other. It hits the ground or just flutter too? Or just, oh, uh, if you crack and flat, it's better than this crack.
it works. Yeah. I had the wave of the start. I had the wave. It works. Start on the left side. With one rise and stable. Lift. Sorry. No, there is a new one to One and a half. Two. Two stable. You started already? Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. You can see it. Boy, oh, F1's going north. North of the blue line. Yep. Uh, but not much. I see no, you and Tim. He's still going. So the wave in the valley is stable. Well, at least the sun isn't... Oh, I know, it is directly, absolutely straight down the courses. <laughs> yeah, I do. <sighs> it's not really much. annoying. <laughs> We need some good, we need some scenery through like, you know, above the Arctic Circle, so we can have like midnight races. Yeah. The CS one? Yeah, CS one and Bruce. And John? I think it was everybody, wasn't it? The yeah. 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 So we can be first place. Yeah, I win. I'll be first too. back and restart. Yeah, I saw you coming low there. Yeah, not low, but I diddled around on the wrong uh, path. You didn't come over. I took the wrong path. Yeah. No, I passed now. We haven't lost the server for a long time. Yep. 
Here's the, here's the interesting question. Will F1 upload now? Or will... Basically, if he's not... If he doesn't have everyone else to beat, will he upload it? Or right. not? <laughs> will, he even, will he even fly it? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Well, unless I crash into a well. One thing about losing the server is uh, we're going to be using the server index. Uh, calculation, which is different than it would have been on the server. Uh, the club, we'll use the club index instead of the one on the server.
Wow, a lot of interesting mountains here, boys. Yep. I know I went north from the start, and so... I did, too. I'm at uh, 39, and I've got the uh, final glide by 1,000 meters. <laughs> yep, I've got final glide uh, 1,440 meters. How far are you from the turn point? 78. Well, I'm 72. Did you go north of the White Cap Mountains? I went north. I'm going down the valley. Wow. It leads to the turn point. Yeah, you did a better job than I did, Dennis. Or Denny. Oh, well, right after the start, I went up that one bridge there by the start line and went up to about 2,500 and then followed the wave. Nice. Yeah, I want one ridge line north of uh, that initial thing we climbed on. Yep, that's where I went first. And I went north of the line and I went down the blue line for a bit. And now I'm going on that little valley that's for the turn point. I'm just cruising. Yeah, me too. Just want to enjoy the flight. <laughs> yeah, I'm cruising in 2700.
make sure it's quiet on here. Yeah, <laughs> all concentrated. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> all up lines. <laughs> well, how far out are you from that first turn point, Denny? Uh, 30k. I'm down to 32. Turn point oh, you're catching me. 37? 38. So fast. Okay. 104. 48. I'm on. Same area. I get it. You're on the same distance. <laughs> yeah. I can't see him. No. Well, start gate closes in nine minutes. Yeah, I don't think I'll make it back. <laughs> yep. I got my restarting.
this would have been more fun with the other gliders. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm gonna figure out how to get to the other turn point. Yep. You mean the finish? Yeah. The finish. I really want to thank the uh, task setter for setting the turn point on the least side of the steep mountain. The, the single oh, nice, ropes. wasn't it?
Hmm, that was one more pass. One more mounted actually. I think I've worked out the slowest way to go. Yeah, yeah. Me too. 
Man, why don't you people would stop stealing my route? Getting crowded there, John. <laughs> what? Getting crowded there. <laughs> well, you, you said you found the slowest route, so... <laughs> I, I assume you must have taken my route. I thought it was a scenic route. <laughs> I did finally get over the mountain. Which mountain? The, the Blue Line Mountain, or the one past the turn point. Oh, right, I'm just coming up to that. The last mountain. Yeah, I'm, I'm way past that. I'm in the valley now. I did say mine was slow. But very scenic. Slow. Yeah, it's a nice, nice scenery. It wasn't for the sun in my face. Oh, yeah, it's a pain, isn't it? It's always good with some B vitamins. <laughs> These Quest 3 should come with uh, sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Quest 3. <laughs> yeah, well, I just... I just turned. So I'm trying to figure it out now. We need ultra HDR monitors, which would have infrared and ultraviolet and infrared LEDs on there too. Yeah. And feel the sun on your face and get yeah. sunburns. <laughs> Not for the flag yet, I <laughs> I'm getting sunburns, and I, I am. I'm on an old headset here. It's so old as Methuselah, so. <laughs> I have super sample, it's so hot, so I have two cooking plates right in front of my eyes. <laughs> I mean, I have a different color face <laughs> after a flight like this. A red eye you flight. saying you get the opposite raccoon effect? Yeah. Really should have put the finish just like literally on this first airport. I guess there is no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, sort of shows there being airport but it's landing fields. It feels that some of my markers didn't land there. That cost 10.1. Next one. Is that here? Thank you. And I can read this in the past. In the past? In the past? Euro? Euro? Is it the... Yeah, not so long. It's 700 now. I took a Swiss route very direct. Ja, da muss ich wieder machen. Ja, das habe ich jetzt gerade gesehen. Dank der Map. Ja. Wie hoch? Zweieinhalb? Nee, nee, ich habe auch nur mit 1700 oder sowas. Ja, ja jetzt geht's hoch da. Hier steigt schön. Ist ein Umfeld. Less difficult than with the paraglider. When you cross the valley, you have lost thousand meters. Yeah.
Where are you? Turn point two. Ne, gibt ja nur einen und dann zieht. Ah, finish, okay. How far to the finish? Distance 20 km. Ne, ich muss 25 noch bis zum Ziel. Oh, just about ready to pass that last uh, lump in the middle of the valley. I took a detour to get past the uh, end of the last valley, and I think my detour was much longer than yours. Where are you at, Denny? Uh, 13K out. Yeah, I'm actually at 13.5 right now, so there you go. Right behind me. I'm at 19. <laughs> yeah, but I think you uh, started uh, a minute or two after me, so I think you've got it. But what are you flying? Uh, JS315. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you definitely will have me beat some flying in JS121. I thought I'd be able to climb up faster than everybody on, but the lift was... Where I was going, apparently the lift was terrible. Right, right when I left, I saw F1 fly into the lee side of the ridge and shoot way up into basically space, and then the server disconnected. <laughs> so, I don't know. No, I saw Why didn't you take advantage of the same glitch to get some altitude? Well, <laughs> I couldn't get to the spot where he was at because I would have had to have flown through the sink, which he somehow didn't fly through. I don't know. I, I still have suspicions about him. At the beginning, him and F1 were climbing together in the same spot, and he was like climbing at twice the speed that F1 or DGT was. Yeah, F1 was climbing like twice as bad as DGT was the same point at the same location and I was like mm, it's weird I'm done. Congrats. Huh? Congratulations. Congrats. Already. Congrats. Wow. Congrats. What's the speed? I don't know. I lost. I can't. I lost the. Um... Yeah, you'll be lost in the Say what? Come on, man. Um, gives you the top speed. Yeah, it does. Present top, I think. 197.1 for me. I forget okay. how to get the, um, somehow I lost the uh, menu, can't get it up on the screen. What, what yeah, happens when the network drops. What did you be burning? I was 197.1 on Chromo Maps. Jeez. Yeah, I 
Is that I do a not know what. Yep, GS315. So what's the key to get the map up on the screen? I mean, the uh, menu where all the, shows all the planes. Oh, it's not going to be up there if you've uh, lost network connectivity. Tab doesn't work for me uh, today uh, since the network dropped. Yeah, yeah I don't you, have it either. Yeah, your, your scoreboard is not working. This server crashes. Okay. All right, guess I won't know until I upload it to uh, Condor Club. Yep. It seems like these are. It's like they said, said, whoever sets these tasks up also seems to always manage to make it so there's a huge crosswind, both the starting and finish airport. Yeah, and the finishing airport is right in the lee of a mountain. Yep. Uh, it's not it's like the same thing. Okay. It has the same kind of concrete, you know, hanger thing. No, maybe it's the same. No, it's the same airport actually. Because the one the one hanger has the airplane from it, and one doesn't the one I went a little too fast into and came out the backside. <laughs> According to CU, it was 212. Exusor, I don't know what RF Exusor is doing. It said uh, my, my speed is like 177, and then it's 220 on Thunder Club, so okay. it wasn't as slow as it was. It wasn't fast enough, but. Made it in the hangar that didn't have a plane in front of it without shedding parts. I'm going to finish all the tools in a moment. Well, not super fast. Uploading now, baby.
<laughs> yeah, not super fast. Wow, Josh. You are ripping. It was, it was saying my average speed was like 177 or something. <laughs> well, it felt like it, it, the worst thing is that's what it felt like it was doing. It felt like it took so long in the beginning that that seemed like was an accurate speed. <laughs> it was actually too funny, which is still not very fast apparently. Okay, guys, I'll jump out. Uh, thank you for a nice flight, even though there was nobody there. <laughs> yeah. Bye, morning. <laughs> Have a nice morning. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm dropping out, too. We'll talk to you all later. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What does it mean later? What do you call it? Call later. <laughs> Still 40 kilometers.
Minuten. Ich bin viel zu hoch. Ich habe mich falsch eingeschätzt. Ich dachte, das geht noch weiter. Noch 30 Kilometer. Nee, das kommt bringe ich rein. Ich bin auf dem richtigen Hang und äh, kaum sinken. Aber zu viel Zeit verloren. Ich dachte, ich müsse noch weiter hoch. Ja, Gott, Inhänger. The last Valley and 30 kilometers left. Super. Same here. Also 30. You see yeah. me? 30.4. I'm 28 now. I can't see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm uh, up 1800 meters on the left side. So it's possible to go in the highway, right? Yeah, I'll move the glider out the way for you. Okay. Good. The right triangle, I think. Yes. Okay. There's a, a lot, light aircraft or something in front of the other one. <laughs> no. You threw it, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it was the right direction, but uh, short by I landed because my gear was not out. <laughs> <laughs> but a smooth landing, a little bit green. <laughs> That's my first match. Yeah, this cool method is great to see other guys too. Can you still see them here, even though the server uh, crashed? Yeah, that, that's wondering. Not all, but I think uh, five, six yeah, uh, pilots few. in front. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know if the distance make a roll or not, or if other uh, or relays. Yeah, I also not understand your flight right? I see few pilots still at the uh, finish point. Only three, three or four. Yeah, they're both Sierra, Echo Mike and Sierra Bravo left. Yeah, I see Gerold, Golf Sierra, and Ekomar, and Sierra Bravo down on the finish. I'm coming. Here I have lift. Way too much lift. I don't mind these early morning tasks, but I wish you'd set the direction so that we weren't flying into the sun. Yeah. Oh, Rich, I'm eight seconds behind you. Oh, yes. 13 kilometers left. Yeah, what? Oh, so like I say, it's Sunday, I was just cruising. No, it's okay. You did a fine job with the cruising too. <laughs> I think the guys that went north of the start did a lot better. I went south. Yeah, took also south. I'm comparing mine to Richard Ricard Duran's NOI. And I was just barely north of the, the line, like the first third of the first leg. And he went a little bit south. And being I had to climb a little bit and he didn't have to climb so much, that's where he passed me. <laughs> if you have a look at my 
track, Josh. You'll, you'll find I wandered all over the place. <laughs> You go much south, much in south. Oh, yeah. That one was slow because I went too far south. But at least I didn't have the sun in my face when I was flying down there. Interesting moments after we point. <laughs> Fast and low, very cool. I had to take a beat, or right. maybe two beats, um, after the turn point to get over that high ground. Yeah, I thought I was low, but you were much lower here. Sometimes 500 meters were. Well. <laughs> I think I was about 1100 metres when I turned the turn point. I had to fly across the valley to get onto that ridge to get across to the other ridge up to, to get over the high ground. But it wasn't difficult, it wasn't stressful, it was a, it was a nice cruise. Oh, close to the goal. No further. One. And done. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. 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 Do a little bit of <laughs> I'm 6.6 .6 from it now. This has been a terrible flight. It was a beautiful flight, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah flying alone is not my choice. Not no. no. Uh, brings brings a lot of information about the ground level. Helps a lot. Yeah, I'm 40 away from uh, Finnish. Yep. Yeah. I'm still in the air. Someone see me. Probably not. Huh? Well, the server went down. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So all are invisible. Yeah, you're, so you're flying landing. offline. Stop! Stop my acrobatic highlights. <laughs> no spectators. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, you're on your own, <laughs> right? <laughs> and and no autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> no help over there. Yeah. I saw that. Secret weapon from Tim was away. Okay, landing. I'll do a Jeremy Clarkson here in a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that? Press? You'll hear it. And now back to the studio. Commentator. <laughs> oh, Zach, how, how hard could it be? And across the finish line. <laughs> Congrats, <Congrats. Yeah. laughs> There you go. <laughs> and now back to the studio. <laughs> and now back yeah. to the club studio. Where are you, Hamster? Oh, I'm landing. A hamster would be upside down in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> I'm close to the runway. And Where, where's Bruce? So silent. Yep. Fine. Uh, Ground 40, 46 away. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. Ground it. Ah, yeah, you made the risk. How am I going off? Have a good evening, everyone. 
Thanks, same to you, John. Mm. Off here. Yeah. John. Is Tim Speak breaking up for anyone else or is it this one? No, I'm pretty I can hear it breaking up as well. Okay. <laughs> well, have a good yeah. day, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye, John. Have a nice evening. Nice. See you, John. Yeah. 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 See you, John. On Base Lake, turning left for a short final. And how could I quit now the game when the server is off? You can upload and see all the results. Yep, yep, exit. Yep, escape and exit. Took a little bit longer here. Why? Thank you. And landed. Thanks for the flight, guys. Even though it was a lonely one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I must be. I must definitely be the slowest of them all. I mean, it, everything went wrong. <laughs> but it was a beautiful flight. What a scenery! Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm sincere. I'll call it a day here because it's not fair when you can actually sit and smell your dinner in the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your dinner, Viking, and have a Thank wonderful Your woman evening. took every weapon that she, she has. <laughs> uh, uh, Tasty. She pulled Tasty all the stuff. <laughs> 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 the whole, yep. whole picture. Yep. Viking, I have a beer holder in my cockpit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. You can do without it, but I don't drink uh, alcohol. <laughs> I've don't. never, I've never done it. Yes, I did, but I must go off into the restroom, so I can <laughs> not do any condo. Bladder flying. Well, it was okay. a nice I'll flight. It. I'll, I'll yep. see you around. Have a good one. Thanks, guys. See you. Thank yeah. you. Bye, bye. bye. I'm going to the inside and now I found that the closest giant swamp tracks. It's normal routine, and the fastest is 15. Ah, not so bad. An hour and seven minutes. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy, I'm happy. But why I am on the 20th place and some water from France is on the 18th with longer time. You take an uh, score by the index? Ah, okay, okay. Now ah, that's a huge difference, suppose, plans. Okay. So that was the reason for Tim and other guys for me to take the yeah. score by this point. Better index, better gliding index, or what does it mean, better index, index from points? Index from points. Ah, okay. You have a better gliding uh, uh, index. Ah, okay. Right, okay. Yeah, for me it was better. But in, at the end, after the last big hill, I uh, took a lot of time to uh, lift up more. And then I saw the lake that I already had to have to start the uh, final run. Yeah, yeah because a little because bit of routine and a little bit more overview. And today was the first flight with the map. Um, it's really a better flight with this map, also with these uh, contours of the ground level. Not be any more a tourist, right? Yeah. Mm, depends, depends on <laughs> okay. 
on uh, a, um, a militarized about the uh, normal map in the PDA. Normally I, I see the higher points and where I do, don't ca could cross uh, the hills and uh, yeah, with, with this Como map it's clear now. I was in it a few times. Yeah, and also with uh, the VR goggles it's also easier and more. The yeah, goggles are great, or the goggles. Goggles are great. Yeah, yeah. It's only a little bit heat. Heat that uh, at the eyes. I hope the fan will bring a little bit cooling. Yeah, I, I think I will wait two weeks about, I think. Coming from China. Yep. Yeah, but the picture is more and more sharper as a cross tool. That's, but, that's but when I, yeah, yeah. But when, uh, when I talk back to the earlier pieces that we had in family, we had already uh, a set of the 3D uh, glasses that you have to wear on uh, your head to fly 3D. It was also possible with earlier graphic cards and earlier students. Okay. But uh, now it's the difference uh, that you could uh, uh, move your head and see the whole scenery. Quite interesting. Yeah, the, the, um, um, original um, S3 now I have on my head is, is, is for me too hard yeah. in the face. So yeah. I went for the uh, strap, for the other strap. Yeah. Yeah, Rich said it's okay, but for me it's a little bit too hard for the yeah. uh, face. Yeah. I have also uh, pressure points in the face. But uh, better was when I tightened the strap in the middle of the head. And uh, he lifts the cobble a, a, a little bit from front. Thank you. So you have less pressure on, on the eyes. Yeah, that's right. It's okay. But it's going better. It's always the same. I don't understand when people building a product and they uh, took cheap solution for straps and yeah. And then it's the quality uh, better. Yeah, so production was so expensive, but not much for us. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We see in the future if they bring a, a pro, a, a pro edition uh, also on the market. Yeah, that was a reason uh, for the seller, this uh, Quest 3, to uh, yeah. wait for the pro. Yeah. What's about the uh, Apple uh, device? Is this also compatible like Quest 3? I saw you games aren't compatible with uh, each uh, Google uh, goggle. You have to choose the right for the right game. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's compatible. It's, I don't know. It's possible, uh, but uh, I try it with a Pico 4 uh, in December, yeah. uh, Christmas time, for Dita. I had it three weeks and uh, tried some things uh, to, to connect with Condor 2. Yeah. And it is much, much more difficult to do that. I yeah. think Josh, Josh had had Pico 4, but I, I must um, started any other programs uh, to connect with Condor. So it's yeah. much, much uh, easier with the Oculus. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, I, I I do have the Pico 4, and yeah, it was uh, a bit of a challenge to figure it all out. Yeah, that's the most important part for me when I uh, buy devices that the software package run run uh, easy. Tim, you bugger, um, you got me by eight seconds. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Rich. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> 14th place, but I see um, LS4, Yamo, he did uh, very well, 6th. Yes, yeah, that's right. incredible speed for the LS4. 
Wow. So I think the key was to get north, but uh, yeah. it was difficult. Yeah, I saw Jamo on the Como map, uh, map <laughs> and tried to follow him. Yeah, he goes north. Yeah, I think You're definitely the north route together, was faster. Huh? Oh yeah, I just couldn't, I just couldn't get minutes. there. <laughs> That's close. It was a nice flight. You've been very quiet, Bruce. What, I bet you're flying along nicely. Well, I'm just alone. You know, there's nothing to talk about. I don't know. I'm about to finish. A couple seconds away. Yeah, congrats. Okay. Oh, congrats, Bruce. Congrats. Yeah, there's a Pico Thank 4. I, I give uh, details as 87 old gear uh, man <laughs> as a tip. Buy, mm -hmm. this thing, buy, buy the Quest 2, and that's better and easier for you. Once it's set up, it's pretty straightforward, though. It also has uh, fans when it gets too hot, they'll blow on your face. Yep. Yeah, but the Pico 4 has the same lenses as, uh, as a Quest 3 now. Yeah. The picture is more sharp, definitely. Yeah. I ordered now a correct lens for the Quest 3 because when I wear glasses, okay. I uh, hope how much? that this is also uh, an improvement. 78 bucks uh, for a set. And uh, okay. I took, I took glasses which uh, I have a correction of seven and, a half, uh, seven and, a half and uh, six and a half for my eyes. And uh, there are thick glasses, and I took a product which put the glasses to the goggle inside, not to the eyes inside. Okay, I'm in. I save yeah, you. Of... Thank you. Okay. Yeah, good speed, Bruce. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, you know, not too You're bad. You're welcome. Viking yeah, also great. finished. Hey, you beat Tim, me, and Gerd, and John, Brian. Yeah, close together. Oh, uh, yeah, good speed. <laughs> so that's the reason he was quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thrashing us. <laughs> yeah, very nice, Bruce. Thank you. You know, um, DGT went south, it seems like. He did okay. Didn't yeah. he? Didn't he go south? I bet he didn't go as far south as I did. And, oh, I and so did uh, Yamo in the LS4. It looks like DGT took the same route uh, Ricard Duran oh, took yes. the NOI. The route. It's pretty similar, but I was a little bit north on the first third of the first leg. Yeah, congrats, Josh. Very good flight today, also. So I'm behind. Well, go. Bye bye, guys. Yeah, I think I'll say yeah. bye as well. It's been, <laughs> been a pleasure Thanks, not, not flying with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to get out as well. See you guys tomorrow. Take care. See you Bye bye. Yeah. Take care. User yeah. disconnected from your channel. User disconnected from your disconnected. channel.